All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, I decided to start a new series because we have a week without Justin again. I know, lucky everyone. Uh, I wanted to do uh, kind of a counterpart to last week's uh, series of five expensive games and are they worth it. I wanted to do a console-specific series of games under, or great games under $10. And with XCOM, uh, it is a tactics game with permadeath um, that's about five. I'll throw the, the graphic up here in a second. Basically, aliens invade. The world comes together to try and take them out. So, I've never beaten this game. But I really do enjoy it. And I don't know really the benefit of any of them. Or, uh, the starting country, I should say. Um... We're gonna go to North America. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. Turn that we down. We a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. You thought gas prices today were high. Strike one. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Okay, so it, this isn't like a traditional grid system. So every character I have, this is the range they can move in. Uh, the shield icon indicates, like, full cover. Uh, I don't think we have any half cover available. Oh, right there. And if I... we have two actions. So I can move within this blue area. And that'll take one turn. Or if I move out here, that's dashing, and that takes up all my turns. So, we're gonna hide here. And that's about as much as I remember from this game. So, I will stop talking about it, and just play. Yeah, I can rotate the camera. Um. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Yeah, so Overwatch is if an enemy moves within my field of view, I can uh, attack them. Heading there now. Roger. I've got my eyes on. On the move. Let's see, since I dashed, I can't do Overwatch. Oh. And the aliens were all out of view, so I didn't see what they did. I'm on the move. Scanning. I affirmative. Here they Alien come. Alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Oh shit, that actually hit. Okay. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Okay. Come get some. So we know there's one in that gas station. We don't know if there's anything anywhere else. Yeah, 
Yeah, we need to get the fuck out of there. I'm guessing he has Overwatch turned on too. Oh, not the ice machine. Okay, so we've got three aliens in there, and I need to get the fuck away from this car. Roger, Dodger. Yes, sir. Can I get up on the roof? Wait. Stop it. Yes, okay. Okay, so that guy now has more health. Yeah, we gotta get her out of the way. Okay, so I should be in attack range. Of two of them. Oh, I can shoot all of them. Yeah, let's go for him, because I think he's up next. Okay, he should be in attack range. Ooh, 25%? Yeah, fuck it, let's go. I'll get him next time. Can I? How do I get off the roof? Okay, I thought being up here would be more useful. They could see me through the windows. It's raining death over here. Uh -huh. We gotta get closer. Now we will have to reload our guns at some point. I'm tired of this guy just existing. We gotta push him. Wait, can I grenade this guy? Oh yeah, we're taking you out. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm in dash mode. I need to throw a grenade. Okay, here we go. Does three damage. 
Let's do it. Dodge this. Alright, well that's mission one down. Let's do another one. Just something to consider. Good work out there, strike one. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing... So basically, explosives are highly effective, but destroy resources. Back to base. So we took a little bit of damage, but nothing awful. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Okay, so we are due for an upgrade. Snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar, but without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Okay. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. What do you do? Assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight and the last ones out. Oh, more HP. Okay. weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. But we gotta be careful with it. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Okay, let's do a little research. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Well, let's do it. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Hmm. So the game takes place on a real world timer. And it is possible to lose. And like the game basically intends for you to lose and start over multiple times. Um So basically, offense, defense, or this. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Let's go by all. Commander, I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover. New yes, I know. Thank you. Uh. This technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have something safe. Okay, so I didn't have enough to do all three. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Sure. Okay. We've still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. So the more you build, the more expensive. Okay, what's a power generator?
Yeah, let's do it. Uh, okay, I think we're good for now. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. Sure, let's buy that. Our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite. And let's let's get a med kit. Um. Cool. Let's go to a uh, let's go do a new mission. Well, let's go. We've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Um. Let's go to Tawana. Okay. Well, this is all we got. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Let's do it. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Okay, so kill everybody. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Okay, this is my sniper. So she needs to be a little further back. Affirmative. Can I not do Overwatch with her? Okay, there's at least two. Rolling out. Oh, we got him. That was a hell of a shot with a shotgun. Yes, Commander. On the move. Yes, sir. So we know there's still one back there. And there's definitely going to be more than two. Oh, we got flanked. What you doing over there, buddy? Hmm. I think I can do it. X-ray neutralized. Moving to position. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Heading there now.
probably be safer to be over here on this side. need to reload yet. Okay. We'll defend. Solid copy, Commander. Heading to that location. They're close. Okay, now nah, I'm just popping overwatch. Right. We'll use these guys to push around the back. Worst sniper in all of North America. Oh, she is about to have a bad day. X-rays got me outflanked. Okay. We're gonna get the fuck inside. There should only be those two left. Oh, that car door is not open. Uh-oh. That's not where I wanted to go, but too late now. He blew up his own cover. Roger that. I wonder if an exploding car doing damage would count as an explosive to the game. Well, you know what? We're just showing off the game. We're not doing a full playthrough, so... Fuck him. And that's how you do it. Come in. 
Commander to the Situation Room. Commander Ooh, we got a promotion. We got some new shit. New facility available. Uh-oh. The globe is in panic. Yeah, so Mexico gave us some more engineers. We got more resources. I think that's going to be it for this episode. I don't want to show too much, and I want to keep these relatively short. Uh, this is a game I've wanted to play through for a while. May do a playthrough of this in the future. Uh, if I do do a playthrough of this, I will probably do Enemy Within. The uh, one with all the DLC in it. That's a little more than $10, so it didn't make it into this game. Or this game series. But uh, yeah, no, that's uh, that's XCOM Enemy Unknown for the 360. And at 5 bucks, definitely fucking worth it. With all the, the replay value, the tactical combat's perfect. I love it. One day I'll beat it, but but not this day. So uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for whatever episode I decide to do. And hopefully Justin will be back next week. But we'll see. Bye.